Hello and welcome back to tutorial series of design patterns in Python. In last video we talked about facade design patterns with examples. And in this video I am going to talk about observed design pattern. So before understanding observed design patterns, we must understand what is behavioral design patterns. So basically this observed design pattern is kind of a behavioral design pattern. So behavioral design patterns will help you to solve the problems related to behavior of your program. So whenever you have any problems and behaviors, in that case is, in that case you will have this kind of patterns will be helpful. So basically behavioral design patterns concerned about interactivity between objects and the responsibility of that object. And the most important part is they are loosely coupled with each other. So you can separate out very easily object and the responsibility of the object. So I will give you one uh, very known example which everyone have uh, experienced like email service about any new feature in application. So whenever any uh, suppose you have uh, subscribed to any application or maybe you have installed in your mobile and whenever any new feature added into the application the email service send you an email so similar to you there are so many subscribers to this application so all each and every person will get the email so you can unsubscribe that particular email service notification service so once you un uh, unsubscribe that service you will not get any new email whenever any new feature is added into the application so that overall behavior is part of this pattern right observe design patterns so in this in that case you were the observer and the new feature was the subject right so now what we, we are going to do we, to understand that pattern we must implement one example in python so I have already done that. So I will explain that this similar pattern which I said email service like right. So similar to that we have another design uh, another example for the same pattern which is here. So user is an observer class which is observing the changes or maybe list of articles. So here is one more class that is blog writer. So in, in, in the real life there are so many blog writers out there right. So each blog writer is an instance of this class. They will have the name, I mean blog name, then they will have own subscribers and they will have own articles, right? So what I have done here to understand this pattern, so here article is a subject and the user which is whoever is added in the subscribers, that means that user has subscribed to the specific writer right so th those kind of users will be added here in this list so and this blog writer has another method that is add article what it does it will add the article i mean right if a writer added a new article right so submitted that so automatically this function will be called and it will be added into this list and also it will notify to the subscribers so it will iterate through all the subscribers through this through this list and notify it. So how it does? Let's look at this function which I have written here: notify subscribers. So it just iterate to through all subscribers and just call it update method. So what is subscriber here? What is sub? That is user class instance, and it has implemented update method. So whenever you want to subscribe blog writer in that case observer class must have update method is implemented so that is one point in our example so this example uh, can be written many different ways but the pattern should be followed like this now what other methods are there get articles you can get all the articles anyways this is not part of uh, observer pattern so which is normal behavior of the class where you can get all the articles of specific uh, blog writer right and you can subscribe to this blog writer so in future whenever new article is added 
you will get notified you can unsubscribe as well by removing yourself from this uh, subscriber list and again you can get the subscribers of specific blog writer and this is that so here two classes are there one is blog writer which is your main application uh, it is managing your subject that is article now whenever article is added you must notify whoever are going to read that so readers are here so this class is separate and which is independent to blog writer just what is needed that is update method which must be implemented in this observer class okay so this is subs subscriber observer class whatever you call it now let's look at this for this testing purpose i have created one blog writer and the given name is hardik's blog right and i have created two users i mean you can say two readers or two subscribers so selja with the name of selja and arav name with arav okay so now i am going to subscribe this first i will subscribe by selja and arav both okay now what i am doing here one more thing i am going to do that is so i have done a one mistake here that is here uh, self dot subscribers dot index and i have to pass the index right okay all right so now i am unsubscribing myself here i am unsubscribing arav okay and one more article i am going to add so you will understand the behavior of the <coughs> observer pattern okay now i am saving it i am running this okay so let's run it okay so here is the error x not in list okay so it doesn't have a subscriber anyways uh, let's stop it right now and let's run it white says that x is not in a list subscribers dot index subscriber and remove okay so in remove you need to pass the name only so that is my mistake here okay and let's run again so basically remove function uh, takes the name of the or maybe you can say actual object whichever is in the list so it will directly match in the list once you use pop pop method in that case you might uh, need to pass the index of the value okay so that is my just mistake anyways uh, now look at the example which we have done here first we added selja as a subscriber ara as a subscriber now blog writer added new article article 1 so what happened that so this add met i add articles uh, sorry add article uh, method which was called and articles were appended in this list and then notified to all subscribers so this update method were called uh, for all subscribers i mean for selja and arav so here you can see here what is i have printed here that for self dot name that means subscribers names new article by blog writer's name is added so you now can see the message for selja new article by hardik's blog is added for arav new article by hardik's blog is added okay now you can also you could also print the uh, name as well like this article and if i save it if i run work one more time you will understand better because second time we are added article 2 so for article 1 we notified two subscribers selja and arav but after that arav unsubscribed that blog writer and then that blog writer added one more article that is article 2 so which was just notified to selja because there there was only one subscriber in that case so here this users selja and arav were the observers to the article which was written by blog writer okay so this is how you can implement the observer design pattern so now let's look at the benefits of this uh, type of design pattern so 
In this case, any kind of subscriber can be added irrespective of the types of subscriber as far as subscriber class has implemented specific listening method similar to this update method. Right? Then it can be added to the subscriber. Or you can say you can subscribe to that sub subject. Second uh, benefit I can see that is subject doesn't need to know what observer does after knowing the change happening in the subject. So as you can see here we just notified we just called the update method and then subject doesn't need to know what is happening there. We can do anything here and that is irrespective of uh, subject. Right. Then another benefit I can see that is observer can be ad added or removed at any time irrespective of type of the subject. So whenever you change the type of subject still you can do the same thing right still you can subscribe and unsubscribe this particular channel so you can also call it a channel right so where you can subscribe and unsubscribe so that is the main core or part of the observer design pattern all right and one more thing that is we uh, that was the core part of this design patterns that is the pattern is also allowed loose coupling between subject and the usage of that I mean observers so you can separate out uh, separate out subject and observers very easily and you can change it anytime irrespective of, of each other so that those are the benefits I can see uh, from this observe design patterns okay so that's it I hope you understand uh, the design pattern which I have explained here that is observe design pattern and maybe you will be able to use this in your current or future project wherever you feel the need of this so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon with the next video with another design pattern see you soon thank you